my dear students this video introduces you to binary search tree how to insert an element into a binary search tree and how to create a binary search tree a binary search tree is a binary tree with a condition a binary search tree without duplicates is a binary tree with the condition that at every node the left child of i should be smaller than i and the right child of i should be greater than i very simple a binary search tree with duplicates is a binary tree with the condition that at every node i the left child of i should be smaller than i and the right child of i should be greater than or equal to i so with duplicates whenever you get equal elements you put it to the right side whereas without duplicates duplicates uh, are not allowed in the binary search tree at all okay there are two different definitions for binary search tree with duplicates and without duplicates now let us consider 40 yes left node of 40 is 30 yes correct no problem left node of 30 is 25 yes no problem right node of 30 is uh, 35 yes it is greater than 30 and less than 40 yes yes 60 yes proper yes 50 it is less than 60 and greater than 40 yes possible 70 yes it is greater than 60 so this is a binary search tree without duplicates no duplicate elements are there now this binary search tree 40 yes 30 it is less than 40 25 it is less than 30 yes yes 35 to the right of 30 35 is greater than 30 but less than 40 yes correct now 60 yes 60 is greater than 40 yes it is right now 40 40 is less than 60 okay but 40 is equal to the root 40 but it is inserted to the right okay now 70 yes so this is a binary search tree with duplicates so we have considered two binary search trees one binary search tree without duplicates and the other binary search tree with duplicates now how to insert an element into a binary search tree let us consider insertion in a given bst yes yeah, suppose we want to insert 50 into the binary search tree item is equal to 50 case 1 when root is equal to null meaning when there is no binary search tree how to insert create a new node pointed by p yes we have created a new node for the binary tree p of info is equal to item in this particular case p of info is equal to 50 yes p of left is equal to null yes p of right is equal to null yes root is equal to p root let it contain the address of this node and return root that's all there was no binary search tree node at all now we have created a first node and root is containing the address of that node and we return that node and the code we are for to get a new node pointed by p s yes. p of info is equal to item p of left is equal to null p of right is equal to null if root is equal to null root is equal to p and return root that's all i think case one when root is equal to null it is very simple straight forward now case two when root is not equal to null meaning when there is already a binary search tree yes this is our binary search tree yeah this is our binary search tree suppose we want to insert item 50 into the given binary search tree so we have to insert 50 so how do, how do we insert 50 let us understand the logic cur is equal to root first start with uh, cur is equal to root yes cur is containing the address of the root since cur is not equal to null and item is greater than cur of info cur of info is 40 item is 50 50 is greater than 40 therefore assign priv is equal to cur and then move cur to the right we have to move to the right but before moving to the right yes priv is equal to cur then you move to the right yes okay since cur is not equal to null again and item is less than cur of info yes 50 is less than uh, 60 therefore priv is equal to cur and then move cur to the left since 50 is less than 60 you have to move to the left yes priv will come here and cur will go to the left yes again cur is not equal to null and item is greater than cur of info because 50 is greater than 45 therefore priv should come to cur and cur should move to the right yes priv will come here and cur there is no right child therefore cur will become equal to null now since cur is equal to null item has to be inserted as a child of 
okay, below 45, uh, 50 has to be inserted. Now, very important, if item is less than priv of info, item should be inserted as left child of priv. And if item is greater than priv of info, item has to be inserted as right child of priv. Very important. Here, in our case, item is greater than priv of info because 50 is greater than 45. Therefore, item has to be inserted as a right child of priv. Yes, 50 should be inserted as a right child of priv. Very good. Let us write the code, getting a new node. P of info is equal to item. P of left null, P of right null. Cur is equal to root. Just now we did. Next, uh, while cur is not equal to null, priv is equal to cur. Then if item is less than cur of info, move to the left. Otherwise, move to the right. And if item is less than priv of info, the child should be the left child of priv. Otherwise, it should be the right child of priv. And last, return root. That's all uh, the code. Now, let us write the complete insertion function. The function for inserting an element into a binary search tree is as follows. Yes. Yes. Create a new node. P of info is equal to item. P of left is equal to null. P of right is equal to null. Root is equal to null. Yes. Root is equal to P. Return root. Otherwise, cur is equal to root. While cur is not equal to null. Priv is equal to cur. If item is less than cur of left, move to the left. Otherwise, move to the right. If item is less than priv of info, it becomes the left child. Otherwise, it becomes the right child. And last, return root. That's all the function for inserting an element into your binary search tree. It is quite simple, quite straightforward. Now, let us understand how to create a binary search tree. Already we know inserting an element into the binary search tree. That only we have to put it in the loop. Let us discuss the logic for creating a binary search tree. Yes, read the value of item. Yes, item is equal to 50. Since item is not equal to minus 99, 50 is not equal to minus 99, insert item into the binary search tree and read item again. Yes, 50 is inserted. Read again item, 40. Again, item 40 is not equal to minus 99, therefore 40 should be inserted into the binary search tree. 40 is inserted as a left child of 50. Yes. Read one more item, 60. Again, item 60 is not equal to minus 99, therefore insert 60 into the binary search tree. 60 is inserted as the right child of 50. And read item, one more item, 20. Since item 20 is not equal to minus 99, insert 20 into the binary search tree. So 20 is inserted as the left child of 40. So read one more item, 45. Since 45 is not equal to minus 99, insert 45 into binary search tree. 45 inserted as the right child of 40. Yes, 45 is inserted as the right child of 40. And read one more item, 55. 55, item 55 is not equal to minus 999. Therefore, insert 55 into the binary search tree. So, where is 55 inserted? Left child of 60. Yes. And afterwards, read one more item, 70. Item 70 is not equal to minus 999. Therefore, insert 70 into the binary search tree. 70 is inserted as the right child of 60. And then again, read one more item, minus 999. Now, uh, Item minus 999 is equal to minus 999. Now creation is over and return root. That's all very simple. The uh, small uh, function for creating the BST is as shown. Yes. Int item. Enter the elements. Scan up item. While item is not equal to minus 999, insert the item. Read again one more item. Go on doing this while loop. Whenever item becomes minus 999, come out and return root. That's all simple function for creating a binary search tree. I think uh, the binary search tree, the insert, the insert, the insertion into a binary search tree and the creation in a binary search tree, all of them are quite simple, quite straightforward.